Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today we have a brand new patch notes set of patch notes uh, that are going to be releasing on April 4th. So it's coming out tomorrow. We got our Monday morning patch notes. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Patch V0.5.4. Happy Monday champions. The community hunt may be over, but patch V0.5 continues with our upcoming balance update. Balance patch 0.5.4 brings with its usual smarting, smattering smattering is that a word i don't know what that word means a balance changes as well as a couple of snazzy new skins for you to find in the shop Ooh, please please uh we'd initially hoped to sneak in a few bonus features in this patch but decided instead to hold out until v0.6 which is shaping up to be a doozy of an update so looking forward to that one apparently um new skins yeah these are the ones uh autumn fire sparrow and obsidian rampage yeah both of these were in the test build that we got to play on um for kira and they look really really good and i'm very very excited about obsidian rampage so uh whatever the cost is i already forget what the, the cost is i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it up for sure find them in the store and let us know what you think it's gonna be amazing can't wait early access uh survey we want to thank you yep cool uh community event the hunt uh last friday we launched our first ever community event picking pitting kira against countess in a battle to see who could score the most kills the event wrapped up in just a few hours ago uh, resulting in a landslide victory for newcomer Kira. Yeah, it's just a little bit more viable than Countess, so I think that that's the why. Uh, over the seven-day event, uh, the Kira killed 176,862 other heroes. That's over 25,000 per day. It's been fantastic to see so many of you taking to the battlefield with our first original hero. Yeah, cool. Cool. Uh, we'll be adding a new profile icon featuring the Shadow Huntress herself in game and future game updates on top of season one reward icon cool thank you all for taking part in this event i didn't really do much i just you know played the game so <laughs> balance changes heroes drongo um oh this is cool have they always done this where they show the role huh i don't i feel like that's a new touch but that, that's cool definitely fallen into a better place since his previous nerf but we feel he's still a bit too tricky for melee heroes to tackle true we're making his gag grenade a little easier to disengage from and position around to grant other players more opportunities to outplay drongo in all um in all in engagements this is actually the thing that's been uh, annoying me about him so radius decreased from 400 to 350 we'll see how that feels um i've always said i feel like he can throw it too far but maybe the radius uh, decrease by you know, a pretty decent amount will will feel good because yeah, this is he's huge. Um, he's so so annoying to play against when you're melee, when you're crunch, chimera, uh, pretty much any melee jungler. <laughs> it's so so frustrating to play against Drongo. So very good. Howitzer, Howitzer's been dominating. So as the meta shifts, certain heroes inevitably pick up strength. Howitzer has combined uh, hit the safety of Gideon with some high burst gameplay, raining down rockets from afar. We're flicking some switches on his mech to crank down the production of landmines <laughs> okay keeping howitzer on his toes especially during the laning phase landmine e cooldown increase from 2018 16 14 12 to 22 2018 20, 16 14 cool yeah that brings his um his safety down a little bit and then slow grenades right mouse button uh first grenade scaling decrease from 25 percent to 20 percent uh grenades beyond the first scaling decrease from six percent to four percent okay cool so a little bit less damage a little bit less safety i think that's a conservative nerf to howie um this one might actually be pretty big um as far as just the damage scaling and then you know we'll see how that feels so cool kira uh came in swinging for countess and ended up being charged for collateral damage following your feedback we're going to shift her dust scaling down significantly to decrease the potency of her purge combos and her finisher potential in the mid game we're also decreasing her ultimate damage to minions to prevent nasty interactions with sustain yeah that's been crazy and to decrease the potential surprise wave clear should also be impacted by some of the uh item nerfs below so we're not swinging too harsh a bat yet okay so dust scaling on her Q goes from 30% to 20% and purge now deals 30% damage to minions. Okay. So, um, the R okay. Yeah. Cause okay. I had a clip. I didn't save it, but I had a game where I was fighting Kira in a wave and she literally pops ult. And not only does she shred me, but her health bar just spiked up. She kills the whole wave and her health bar just shoots up. So it was pretty, pretty crazy. So that's good. That, that's bringing her a, a bit more in line. Yeah. This is, it's such a funny thing. I wouldn't think to have done this, but yeah, this is um this is pretty impactful. And then her Q is just pretty crazy. So 
we'll see how this pulls her in line. I think this with item changes, like they say, um, are going to feel pretty good. Muriel. Muriel continues to be a safe pick who continues to scale well. We'd like to keep her general laning strength safe due to her lack of hard CC. So instead, we're opting to decrease her mid-game shielding potential a bit with a small bump down on alacrity builds. Okay. Alacrity right mouse button. Shield magnitude decreased from 50, 80, 110, 140, 170 to 40, 65, 80, 105, 130. That's actually a pretty decent nerf. And she actually has been feeling decently balanced to me lately. So... We'll see how this affects her. I think Decker, if Decker's not on this list, that's going to be interesting because Decker got a huge spike in viability and um, like what is perceivable win rate to me because she just gets played in like every in-house and is really, really strong. Uh, so we'll see if Decker makes a list while Muriel's getting a decent nerf. So Rampage, the king of the jungle has been showing off his crown a bit too much these past few weeks. Yeah, we're looking to decrease his early game damage potential and mobility so he doesn't feel too overwhelming in the earlier stages of the game. Base physical power decreased from 57 to 54. It, this was always going to happen, right? Like they did a conservative nerf to his damage a little bit ago. And it, yeah. And then pounce right mouse button. Okay. Cooldown increase from 18, 17, 16, 15, 14 to 20. Ooh, 19, 18, 17, 16. Okay. So um, two seconds at like all levels. That's going to feel, that's going to feel crappy. <laughs> that's going to feel pretty crappy. But I think, I think these are probably conservative nerfs again. Like he, he is absolutely a dominant force. I think any small nerfs to him will probably pull him more in line with other junglers right now. So um, we'll see how that feels. Items, tier two stalwart gauntlets. These handy uh, gauntlets have been a bit too powerful of a curve for tanks in the laning phase. Combined with Titan's Crest, they can lead to significant sustained boost that creates non-interactive laning. To address this, we're bumping down the regen just a smidge. Okay, health regeneration decreased from 125 to 100. Okay. Uh, carry items, uh, lightning hawk. The hawk got a, a healthy bug fix last patch that led to significantly unhealthy scaling problems. We're bumping it down alongside the slow duration to lessen the rundown potential when ADCs acquire this item early. Yeah, it got a buff or got a bug fix. I forgot what it was, but I remember reading the bug fix. I was like, oh, that's huge. Um, somebody can probably remember and post it in the comments. But yeah, it, it, the bug fix was like actually like a gigantic buff. Um, but it was like listed as a bug fix because it was a bug. So chilling zap passive scaling decrease from 100% to 75%. Slow duration decrease from 0.75 seconds to five seconds. So, I mean, like I said, right now, any nerfs carry items, I'm pretty happy with because carry items are busted. So we'll see. Tainer rounds. Blight items are always tricky to balance due to the fine line of wanting to keep them open while also maintaining a strong reason to purchase them. Tainer rounds have fallen off. Um that line and are a bit too cost efficient, especially when combined with crit oriented builds. So we're taking it down a notch. Okay. Physical power decrease from 30 to 25. See, this is good. If you're going to have an item that has 25% crit, like lowering the power on it and like making it like a, Hey, you're getting it for what it does and potentially the crit. Um, and then wicked strikes, passive critical strike, uh, scaling decrease from 30% to 25%. This feels like a conservative nerf to tainted rounds. I mean, tainted rounds are, are just really, really good. So, um, yeah, the fact that it has 25% crit on it, you're going to, buy it often in my opinion so terminus terminus okay good terminus and vanquisher we, we we're we're hopefully in for some good changes here has been a bit too potent of a sustain option for our adcs relative to kingsbane we're bumping down the lifesteal and power to decrease the amount of situations adcs can power through particularly in the early game so general um physical power decreased from 50 to 45 conservative lifesteal decreased from 15 percent to 12 percent that's probably going to feel pretty good um the sustain on this item is absolutely nuts and yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty nuts and broken, but um, is that enough? I don't know. I don't know. Like, how, it's hard for me to look at fifteen down to twelve percent on life steal. I hope it's enough. I hope they don't just out sustain everything because yeah, it gets a little crazy how you just kind of sometimes cannot kill them. And actually, I want to. I'm pulling up terminus really quickly. Um. I, was, I couldn't remember if this was a crit item. It is a crit item. So on top of that, it has the 25% crit. So hopefully this brings it in line because, yeah, it's, it is another 25% crit item that does have a ton of sustain on it and still has a ton of sustain on the passive. So we will see. We will see um, how this item feels with that 80% lifesteal shield um, or total physical power shield or whatever from the extra lifesteal. Um, we'll see. Hopefully this will bring that down too because it's got the lower life seal on it. Vanquisher has led to absurd amounts of burst, especially as a first or second buy for heroes like Murdoch or Revenant. We're bumping down its all-in burst potential through its passive and penetration. Okay, so physical power penetration decreased from 12 to 10 and annihilate passive execute decreased from 7% to 6%. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I still think that like... 
I don't know. I, I, I think I'm still going to always hate the 25% crit items because it just feels silly to just standardize it across the board like that. But it looks like that's just the model that they want. So, um, you know, you're basically forced to nerf other things around that because you're going to keep the 25% model. So nerfing the passive is good because that burst is just crazy. And then lowering the pen is like, yeah, that's good. It's going to be less damage. So this feels like a really, really tiny nerf to the item. I mean, 1% and I execute is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So hopefully it will feel it. Hopefully it won't, you know, like you're going to feel it. You, you you get 1% extra health um, to, to hopefully close out a fight against them. So hopefully we'll feel that and it won't feel like a crazy item, but they're also not butchering the item, which is probably for the best. Um, Viper, also a crazy item. It's a great all-rounder. Um, for ADCs and currently provides a bit too a few too many stats alongside its powerful shred effect. We're keeping it a little more uh, specialized by knocking down its power a tad. That feels like such a like a wimpy nerf to me. 40 40 power down to 35. This is another crazy item that is just like super bloated in my opinion. This feels like a silly nerf to me. This feels like a slap on the wrist just to see what happens kind of nerf. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking at these, these last three, Terminus, Vanquisher, and Viper. They all feel like really conservative nerfs. Probably the biggest ones are, I mean, obviously are Terminus and Vanquisher. I hope that this feels like we can feel this, this, you know, 3% lifesteal difference with a little less power. And I hope that we can feel this like two pen and then 1% execute difference. But this Viper slap on the wrist just feels meh. Like, why not hit the crit? And like, why not? But again, like my opinion on carry items is it's not going to align with the way that they actually handle carry items because I want them to unstandardize the crit percentages and it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Um, again, I just think like having 25% crit on all your crit items just leads to people building crit paths. Like you have these like on hit paths, um, but I don't think anybody's going to build it because I think you're just going to build crit paths and, and yeah, we've nerfed that a little bit. So that's good, right? Like if you're nerfing the crit items, like three of them in a row, you've nerfed the crit build a little bit and that's, that is good. Um, so I guess we'll see what it feels like. So tank galaxy greaves, moon boots are super fun item to pick up sometimes, but they also have a lot of, uh, practical application currently tankier heroes and supports often lose out on a few of those, uh, too many stats to justify picking this up relative to tank items. So we're bumping up the physical armor a bit to keep it a, an open option for games where the effect could just turn a situation around. Um, okay. So cool. So physical armor increase from 30 to 40. Um, Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You can often skip this item a lot. So maybe this will be more attractive and that'll be good. Raymond of Renewal has become too strong of an initial pickup for offlaners and supports. It ends up becoming a very snowball heavy option that causes poor interaction during the laning phase. We're going to shift its numbers around a bit to decrease its early strength, particularly on sustained scaling heroes such as Rampage Severog. A uh, percentage of health regeneration gained from bonus health decreased from 1% to 0.5%. Ooh. And then percentage of health regeneration from damage taken over five seconds from 12% to 10%. That's a pretty conservative nerf. I feel like Raymond just keeps getting like shoved in the trash can. Like not literally the trash can, but it keeps getting nerfed over and over and over and over again. And I'm going to be honest, I was already having a hard time deciding if I wanted to like second, third buy it um, when I jungle. And I've been pushing it back some and I'm still just like on the fence about it. But with this nerf, I'm probably just going to keep pushing it back if I buy it at all. I mean, it, it is nice to just regen health, right? Um yeah so that is interesting and then um percentage health regen this this got a, a fucking nerf dude this got hit um bug fixes the fullest of bug fixes will be added once the post goes live update is live all right so i'll take back a look at that and there you have it so pretty excited that terminus vanquisher and viper are getting hit like i said i hope it and i mean and and um lightning hawk contained rounds for that matter i hope that it feels you know good because I do think that carry items are a big issue, but the reality is that all of these items are crit items. So hopefully this is going to feel good for carry items getting hit. Um, I think all of these nerfs seem good. I'm surprised Decker didn't make the list. Um, is there anybody else I'm surprised didn't make the list? Maybe, maybe Gideon. But um, otherwise, this looks like a good patch. So friends, drop a like on the video, subscribe for future predecessor content. Let me know in the thought, in your thoughts in the comments down below what you think they missed out on or what you think they're doing a good job with. Oh, and I'm very excited about this skin. So I cannot wait for it. Friends, thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to comment on another. Tell someone you love them. I'll see you in the next video.